Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pharaoh A New Era. <laughs> I almost was in sync with the music. Uh, today we are doing Serbit Kadim, the Bedouin of the East, which is, uh, in my memory, a lot shorter of a mission than <laughs> Maidam is, but Maidam. You know, made them, you had to build such a big pile of blocks of stones that, you know, takes a while to do that. It, it's Serbit Kadim is a more military focused mission. If I remember correctly, it's the first mission where you do get somewhat frequently uh, invaded. So that might be fun to look at. We'll see. Yeah, there's no things to build. Like Den before him, Pharaoh Huni has ordered an expedition into the harsh land of Sinai to acquire turquoise gemstones and copper. He wishes you to lead this expedition to a place called Serabit Kadim, where the building remains of an earlier Egyptian outpost may still be found. Their current condition is unknown, but they may still provide some means of defense for the expedition. You should be aware that the last such expedition sent to this area never returned. Oh no. A later expedition sent to recover them also did not yeah, return. Yeah, damn. Nevertheless, if we are to arm our soldiers adequately, our kingdom needs copper for making weapons, and this metal is scarce in our land. Prepare yourself, for you will be under constant threat of attack from the Bedouin of the Sinai Desert, and from our enemies, the Canaanites. Mine what copper and gemstones you may under these conditions and be prompt in fulfilling Pharaoh's requests. You may employ jewelers who use any surplus gemstones to fashion jewelry for the people occupying the settlement. For a trade, you mean? <laughs> for the people in this settlement, what do you take us for, right? Ah, a sophisticated city? This is a military outpost, so there's walls, but not around everything. You can see where you were meant to build last time, you know? They kind of laid it out for you. You know, you got you got a line district over here. You could have another district over here if you want, maybe. We can probably make bridges too, right? If I had to guess. Oh, hold on. We need to fast forward it to see what's coming. Yeah, you can make bridges. You can't make... What do you mean you can't make bridges here? What do you mean you can't make bridge here? What is this? I mean, you can make bridges over here if you want. Might ease the circulation a little bit. I don't understand why you wouldn't be able to build a bridge over here. That's so silly. So silly. It needs to be more than one square. That's crazy. All right, anyway. That's fine. We technically could build outside of the boundaries, normal boundaries of the city, because we're not going to get... The enemies are not going to spawn on the map um, in this uh, mission. Kind of the same thing with Maidom, by the way. Maidom, the city we built last time, we kind of built where the enemies spawn in the original game. It's not a city we necessarily would have liked, in the original, the way we solved it at this time, which is fine. I'm just saying. So we can do some hunting. Yeah, let's see what we can do. We can do the services, sure. Food is all about hunting. Apparently we can import a bunch of other stuff, but it's all about hunting if we want to produce it ourselves. Stuck in distribution, no uh, water trading. Copper mine and gemstone mine with jeweler, bricks, weaver, potter, papyrus. We can't make uh, clay. Nothing in a year. No events in a year. So we need... Copper comes from down here. Over here a little bit. That's kind of it. Hmm. We're gonna have to do things differently than the game necessarily thought. If we want to provide worker access to over here, like our district isn't over here. 
if the place we need workers from is over here. Maybe it's possible to do a box district, like, here, with uh, a water supply just kind of on the edge here, right? Maybe it's in this... Oh, that's cute. And then copper. <laughs> sure, whatever. Um, but yeah, maybe a box district kind of like here. Sure. Kind of like here and I can have worker access along here, worker access here. And that would be kind of worker access, providing worker access for the mines in this general area. And then maybe one more district, line district here for the food, the actual food. It takes three years before an army gets here. We're still gonna want to build the fences, obviously. I guess we just mainly build a settlement here. We don't even necessarily need another district. We only need 2,000 people, right? So we would, need bu we would be building another district if we needed it. But honestly, with our box here, we can give access to some hunters here and just have food or whatever. Where would be the industry? Kind of all over the place. It's fine, really. I think that's just what we're gonna do. I'm assuming we can make money off of jewelry and stuff, right? What else do we have? Seth is probably the main deity, if I had to guess. That's raw. But Seth is so useful. Seth is the main deity for war. Sometimes his blessing is, I'm just gonna kill the invaders. You're welcome. <laughs> Okay, recruiter, but no military academy. We got military kid academy like this one time, and then it just disappeared completely. <laughs> I think this is pretty straightforward mission. I'm gonna start with the bugs here, and then we'll just figure things out. How? Sure, whatever. How big is this? Yeah, the bugs would be. I'll just build it around the thing here. This poor statue is gonna have to disappear. It's uh. Not welcome here. Um, Alright. I'm just waiting to see... I don't know what I'm waiting for, to be honest. Just do it, right? Okay, pause. Here we go. Alright, time lapse time.
Okay, I think this will do for now. For now. Let's see how it goes. Speed it up a tiny bit. Oh, I know what I'm missing. A recruiter. To get some military going. I'm silly. I'm a silly, silly man. Recruiter. Let's put the recruiter somewhere. Uh, I don't want to put him in here. I mean, I could. The weapons need to go to him. The weapons are probably going to get produced around here. Really? Sure. And then uh, we're going to start a few forts. going to have an archer fort over here. Uh, 100 people? Wow! Gonna have another archer for here, looking out the road. Okay. Moving, people! We need all of you for this great city of ours. This might become a circle at some point, so that I have some, I don't know, some mines here. I don't, I don't think I need that many mines. I got a bunch of mines here. I'm planning on getting more mines over here for this guy, for these guys. Well, not for these guys, but which is which are going to get their workers out of here. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, they're gonna start working. Everything's fine. Everybody's gonna start working. We're all gonna be super happy. I never connect this. Okay. Employees needed. A few. But see, people are still moving in, and there's gonna be even more coming soon. I'm sure this merchant couldn't buy anything. Very sad. Where are they going? Hey, come back here. There's room for everybody. Come on. Okay, food is starting to come in. Bazaar is not optimized for food, it's optimized for um, what I predict is going to be my industrial district. It's, it's a relatively small industrial district, but um, I'm not producing natively a lot, so I'm going to be buying the uh, raw materials and making the, the products later, and that just, you know, it's going to cost a bit. Okay, we seem to be having some uh, desirability issues. Just some. It's fine. Do, do, do. 91 additional workers. It's a work in progress, but as the food comes in, more people are going to come in. And we'll be fine, probably. Copper is accumulating. I want to start making a bit more money. I mean, I've never been into debt. I could add a few more things. I was thinking of getting the weaponsmiths going, and I think I will. Okay, it's just a tiny bit, but here we are. I made some uh, some of those. Hold on, let me see. Eh. I'd kind of like a transversal around here, but maybe we just don't, you know? Yeah, we'll just let it go for now, it's fine. Okay, weaponsmiths are going. I just added a bunch of workers needed, but it's fine. People are gonna move in once the food moves in and gets distributed. I swear, more food's coming. We'll get there. Oh, I'm gonna need some entertainment too. Um, yeah, it should be fine. Gems are accumulating a little bit, which is fine, because the pharaoh can... 
Pharaoh could very much just ask for stuff, and I, you know, I want to be ready for that. Hmm. Play is needed. I'm going to wait until the next time I, I do something. People are going to move in as the houses evolve and the workers are going to get filled and stuff. It will be fine. I'll be right back. Shh. Eh, fine. Please deliver that. Okay. Sure, whatever. We're going to have a few chickpeas. Because why not? I guess. <sighs> We're not making as much money as fast as I would like it to. Oh, we reached some unemployment. Alright, what I'm going to do is get these going. I'm going to place this down because I feel like it. And then what are we missing? Oh, um, we're going to be missing this if we want to tax people. Might as well put it here. Allows us to tax people. People don't like living next to a tax person, but fuck them. What else are we missing? The mortuary and the scribal school. Well, okay, hold on. I don't have that much space, I'm sorry. I need a tiny bit more space. Squeezing too many things. Around the outside. Just a few to me. Wait, I already have a mortuary. Never mind. God damn it. I already put down a mortuary? Since when do I put down the mortuary in advance? What is this? I'm being silly. Being very silly. Alright, um... All of this is happening, that's cool. Why am I not time-lapsing it? Oh, I don't know. So I'm going to open this, because this gives me some copper selling. I'm gonna... I have excess copper already. Let me sell some of that. That's a board. I'm going to keep 1200 in case Pharaoh wants some. It's the same reason I'm keeping some gems. Um, yeah, okay, this is going. I'm gonna increase the amount of jewels produced. Okay. Uh, one last thing. We're gonna want one of these. Debt! Hey, right, we're fine. Don't worry about it. Gonna get that started. Okay, one of these houses did not create for some reason. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Caught it this time. All right, uh, the next step I think, I'm gonna wait a bit until people move in and stuff. Uh, the next step I think is going to set up uh, some culture. I'm gonna set up some culture over here. Just have roads, you know, and set up some culture. Maybe a transversal here, that way um, I can make some ge gem mines, a few gem mines on the outside here. And, yeah. yeah, it works in my head. I don't know about real life, but it works in my head. I'll see you in a bit. All right, I got unemployment. I got tons of money. Let's get something done. Time lapse for real this time. Okay, I did a bunch of jewel production, some mines here, culture. Um, I love how this fits perfectly inside, kind of love it. Uh, <laughs> and then a few shrines to make sure the gods don't get angry at me. That's pretty important, you know. I could have my... Uh, uh, I never integrate my festival square into my actual city. It's just so inefficient. To have a plus sign in your road work. Like, who does that? 
Anyway, um, I think this is gonna be great. 90 workers, but they're gonna evolve again because culture has arrived, so I'm not too worried about it. I think what I'm gonna do while I have you here, actually, is Pladsify. I'm rich. I'm fine. It's not a problem. Yeah. Pladsify and Catify everything. Is that even a word? It is now. Um... Do, do, do. That's not a cat, I know, but there was space for a bigger statue, and as I recall, at least in the original, bigger statue means better effect. Like, the math checks out in that regard. Alright, the wall of cats is there to keep all the undesirability at bay. What's missing? Oh yeah, of course, the actual industry. Well, as people move in, I'm gonna wait a bit. Once people have moved in, I'll set up some imports to start making pots and beer and whatnot. I'll be right back. Okay, well, here you go, Mr. Pharaoh. Also, unemployment has risen a bit, so maybe it's time to do the thing I just said I would. Hmm, where do we set it up? We've got one, two, three, four... Uh, ...places for storage yards. What can we actually import? I didn't even check that. Menefra sells stuff I don't want to buy. Nekin sells flax. Doesn't necessarily buy much unless I can get reeds. I'm not gonna be selling linen unless I can buy reeds. Uh, uh, papyrus, rather. Okay. You sell clay and reeds. Oh, and you already buy my stuff. I love it. All right. I'm probably going to establish... Uh, to, to, well, not establish. You're already established. What am I saying? Reeds and clay we got from here already. Salima doesn't sell anything we want. We would have to open Nekin for flax. I can get it from Abu, actually. I don't think anybody was... Exporting, yeah, you're not exporting barley anymore, so beer has to be bought directly. The rest we can produce ourselves, right? I'm not gonna open Nekin. It's not worth it. I'm gonna open Abu to get the flax. Wait, no, yeah. Abu for the flax, because I can then resell some of the pottery and papyrus at the same time. This is a more profitable... A trade route than Nekin for the flax. When merchants come around, you want them to you want them to be doing the most, you know, as much as possible. The Nekin merchants don't do as much as the other ones. We're gonna set up. How many do we need? Okay, this is gonna be for um, no. The imports are gonna be in this one. So beer is going to be in here. We're going to maintain 800 of that. And then uh, we're going to be receiving clay, reeds, and flax. There we go. This is that one. This can be the pottery one. Sure, why not? This can be the pottery one, and then what are the other two things? Linen and papyrus. They're each gonna have their own storage yard. You can be here. You can be here. Could have been here, but whatever. You're the linen one, I guess, and you're the papyrus one. Except none and then except all. That should about cover it. I don't feel like getting into bricks like ever. So let's see. One, two, three. It's a very unfortunate. It's a very unfortunate little bend here. But what can you do? 
Oh, I should be cutting, not cutting, time lapsing. I'll be right back. Alright, well, that'll do for now. More stuff for everybody to do! You know, something else I need is this. If I want to finish the mission at some point, I should accumulate money so that I can give money to the kingdom. So that the kingdom likes me, so that I get to get out of here at some point. Because the actual objective is to get this kingdom rating to 80. Which means responding to all of the um, demands. Sure. Responding to all of the demands and, um... Uh, I guess giving to the kingdom. Oh, also, uh, this has been set up. I should set up the commerce as well. So we're producing now papyrus. You can export one over zero, because I don't care. We're also exporting these. Export one over zero. Then pottery. Export went over. I'm gonna keep 800 on hand because I'm weird. I really don't need to do that. I could build the rest of the forts too. Hold on. Just really jam this in the way. I'm never coming out this way. It's just not happening. There you go. All the forts have been built all around the city. Oh, this might be too close actually. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, it's fine. Typically, at least in the old game, the undesirability never goes beyond six squares. So that's cool. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to wait for, you know... Six months, sure. I'm gonna have to wait for um, the industries to start getting their goods. Which... what are you doing? Our long and dangerous trek here was for... I nothing. buy reeds! Come the over here! Won't trade. Oh, did I not set up the buying of the... I think I didn't. Oh, I'm an idiot. Available for import. Well, import to maintain 800. My bad. I almost did a goof right there. And then clay. And then beer. There we go. My bad, Mr. Merchant. Hopefully uh, one of them is going to come back. Right, I'm going to speed it up times five, and we're going to wait for industries and stuff for the next time. I'm going to want to do something, whatever that is. Oof, it's a lot of workers needed. It's fine. Industries are going to come in. It's going to evolve the housing, and then I'm going to need to give all of these works. So, mediocre. I don't give a shit. What? What in... This is not the Nile game. Oh, here we go. Do we wreck them? Shut up. Sure. Get out of the way. Oh yeah, we're wrecking these. There's no question here. Got him. Lost one archer. That's it. Cool. All right. Well, I'm I'm kind of rich, but I'm still waiting for workers to arrive. The houses have not been evolving yet. Soon. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, they're, they're getting all of the evolution in one go. I need to keep an eye on the workers. I might have too many workers real soon. No one can accept these goods. Can they That's not? Okay. I can use the rest. Alright, what's happening here? Oh, I'm destroying the canites. <laughs> that I lost more things here? What? That's insane. Jewelry. Oh, I'm full on jewelry. Well, I am overproducing jewels by quite a bit, apparently. We're very close to... We got the 2000, and we're also... I think we can just end it in one goddamn sitting. That's insane. Because we're at... Yeah. Just send anything. 82. There you go. 
You have managed to overcome the dangers of Sinai and supplied Egypt with copious amounts of precious copper and turquoise. Your deeds will be remembered for generations. Sure. Yeah, Serebit Kadim contrasts a lot with Maidom because it's very fast. While Maidom just you wait around for a pile of rocks to get big enough, you know? <laughs> this one just yeah. That was pretty easy. I, I really liked my city too. It was very compact all down here and I just I don't know, I enjoyed it. The rest of the city outside of this area is uh is kind of whatever, but for it's kind of wherever, and the food isn't exactly optimized either, but you know, whatever. I enjoyed this. I, I very much enjoyed this. All right, well, I'm not gonna keep governing. There's not much to see here. Next mission, which is uh, gonna be south of the Shur, I believe. Yeah, south, because there's also north. There's a funny story with those two, but I'll tell that story next time. Until then, See y'all.